everyone, it's Rana again. As you can probably tell, I am looking a little bit sick, but I'm going to try to make myself look healthy again using makeup, of course. Um, so I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face really well because it is so dry at the moment. Just because, again, I'm sick, I have, like, the flu or something, and I've been taking antibiotics and antibiotics, and it's just really horrible. So, yeah, I hope none of you out there are sick because it feels like crap. Anyway, I'm just moisturizing my face really, really well, just really putting it, you know, into my skin um, to absorb. And then next I'm going to use a sort of medium coverage foundation. So this is the Rimmel Lasting Perfection 25 Hour Foundation, um, just because it doesn't feel heavy on my skin, yet it still gives me a decent amount of coverage because there is a lot of redness, you know, to cover when you're sick. And I'm just using my fingers first of all and then I sw switched over to my e.l.f. stippling brush just to really stipple it into the skin and just make it look as natural and radiant as possible. For some reason whenever I'm sick I just always find that the normal way for me for applying makeup turns cakey when I'm sick and I don't know why. That's why I kind of pay a little bit more extra attention to skincare. And of course I am sanitizing my hands and also my brushes right after use because like I said I am sick and you know you have to sterilize to get the bacteria out of your equipment basically. Next I'm going to use this Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection and this is like the best thing ever and it's so affordable. And I'm just going to use that to conceal my under eye circles. Um, they're not really showing up on camera that much, but my under eyes, I normally don't get black under eyes, but just because I'm sick again, they were just really obvious. And I'm also put some on the bridge of my nose and just on top of my lip, just for a little bit of a highlight. And I'm using this brush I got from an art store to just really blend it into the skin. And then just using my hands to go over that. Next I'm going to use this Essence All About Matte Translucing Setting Powder and on a um, kabuki brush I'm just going to set my whole face with that. Next I'm using this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, I think it's called, just to set my makeup in place and to just give my face that dewy, glowy finish because like I said, I'm feeling quite dry at the moment and this is just great. And while I'm waiting for that to set, I'm just going to have some of my favourite drink from when I'm sick, some tea with some honey, ginger and lemon. Um, it's very sharp <laughs> on the um, taste bud but it's the best thing ever you I feel amazing afterwards you should totally try drinking that if you're sick um anyway next I'm going to um just quickly do my eyebrows using this essence um brow pen and I think I'm in the shade brown or chocolate or something like that I'm not going for crazy full-on brows today just taming them with this pulley and the pencil and just looking presentable So that is how I look so far and I'm going to set my eyebrows using the e.l.f. Um, setting gel, I guess. So there's an end for mascara, or sorry, an end for your eyelashes and an end for your eyebrows. I'm just going to use the eyebrow end and I always like to take off any of any excess product so that it doesn't sort of crisp up on my brows, as gross as that sounds. So um, yeah, after that's done, I'm just going to prime my lids using the e.l.f. Um, primer, just because... Um, you know, even though the rest of my face is dry, my lids still get oily, so I just need to, you know, prime. Next, I'm taking this fluffy brush and the Naked palette, and I'm using the color Naked, which is the lightest matte color in the palette, and I'm just putting that all over my lids. I'm going for quite a natural, you know, sort of awake look today, because I was feeling quite sleepy and tired. Next I'm taking Buck, which is um, a sort of, you know, it's a very light brown colour and on the same brush I'm just putting that into my crease all the way to the, so from the very outside to the inside of my um, crease basically. And then I'm going to mix Dark Horse with Buck on this um, flat shader brush that actually came with the Naked palette and mixing them together I'm just going to put them on the, um, on my upper lash line. I'm just going to line my upper lash line very thinly 
and um, this is instead of using eyeliner because it's very soft and smudged out and it doesn't look as harsh as an eyeliner yet it still gives some definition to the eyes so this is actually a very nice sort of everyday look as well which is sort of what I was going for you know looking nice fresh and healthy without overdoing it and I'm also just um, lining my lower lash line with dark horse and buck mixed together Again, this is just a good alternative to eyeliner. I'm just trying to smudge that a little bit using that brush. Next, I'm taking another fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Version, I think it's called. Um, I think it's called Version. Either that or Sin. No, it's Version. I, it's just the, the shimmery white shade in the palette. I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Of course, you can use any color that you have on hand, um, but yeah, that's just what I was using. I'm going to bring that to my um, inner tear duct as well, just to, again, emphasize the whole looking awake <laughs> part of the tutorial. So yeah, that's how it looks so far. Um, looks a lot better off camera than on camera, actually. <laughs> Next, I'm just using this Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Mascara, I think it's called, um, just to quickly put some mascara on my top lashes just to again emphasize you know just ma to make myself look a little bit more awake but I'm not going too overboard with the mascara and also just a little tiny bit on my lower lashes so that's how my eyes look as you can see quite a difference <laughs> with the mascara um next I'm just lining my actual waterline with a nude colored eyeliner just because again it just makes me look much more awake but it is not as harsh as a white eyeliner because white eyeliner just looks very stark in my opinion so that's how that eye looks with the eyeliner and that's how the other eye looks without the eyeliner so I don't know if you can tell but it's a difference it's a good difference next I'm using this bronzer by MUA it's in shade 3 I believe if I can read that, yeah, it's shade 3 and I'm just using that to bronze up my face but I'm not going to specifically contour, just adding a little bit of warmth and glow to my face because it was just looking quite pale. And of course this is a matte bronzer so I'd recommend using that just so that you don't add any shimmer to, you know, parts of your face that you don't really want highlighted because, you know, if you're sick you don't want to highlight any part of your face really. Next I'm taking my favourite, one of my absolute favourite blushes, this is uh, number 60, Rosewood Forest by Catrice and it's just the most gorgeous burnt rose, you know, pink sort of colour, it is stunning and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks to give my face a healthy flush without overdoing it. Next I'm just going to highlight a little bit using the Physicians Formula um, Translucent Highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the right spots and the reason I'm using a fan brush is because again highlighting the right spots in small quantities so that I don't overdo the highlighting. I just want to add a little bit of a glow um, to my face which is why I'm adding that to the top of my cheekbones, just the very very top and a little bit to the bridge of my nose and um, my cupid's bow and a little bit actually above my eyebrows as well it just I just find for me personally it gives a very nice um, subtle glow and again cleaning my brushes of course straight after use next I'm going to line my lips with this essence lip liner um, I don't remember the name I think it's called dollhouse pink or something like that it's just you know just a natural pink um, lip liner and this one by essence is amazing even though it's dirt cheap but yeah I'm just lining my lips with that and um, I'm just applying some lip gloss. This is MUA Intense um, Kisses lip gloss in, I think it's called Stolen by a Kiss or something like that. And yeah, that is the finished look, everybody. I really hope that you liked it. And, you know, just a very natural look if you're sick and trying to not look sick. If you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe down below. It makes me very happy. And I'd also love to hear your feedback. So thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.